Good afternoon. Welcome to the press conference for Miran Driva. Please raise your hand and state your name and organisation when asking your question. Mira, I mean, how does it feel to another win under your belt? Of course, I'm really happy with my win today. It was a tough match, but I'm happy that I managed to win it. A lot of uh, long rallies. And so, yes, now I'm in the round of 16. Hi, uh, hi, Miran. Tonello with La Repubblica, Italy. I just wanted to ask, um, I, I saw your de determination on, on, on the court, especially when you made mistakes. I mean, how much perfectionist you are? I'm, uh, it's actually a little bit strange because I'm a perfectionist, but uh, in the room it's total mess. But when we play cards or just uh, I prepare my stuff, it has to be all, all has to be perfect. So it's kind of, I don't know. I'm not so, I'm not perfectionist, but I think on the court I am. Thank you. Um, you didn't play for the first three months this year, and then you played two tournaments in Switzerland that you won. Why didn't you play the first three months, and what are your memories from the two weeks in Switzerland? Uh, I didn't play because I'm limited in the tournaments and so we needed to choose uh, the right moment and the right tournament uh, just to not have this uh, long uh, long time at the tournament and after Australia I felt that I need uh, more time so we decided to take it easy not to rush and uh, to choose the right tournaments and from um, Switzerland of course, I have only only positive memories. Uh, I really like these two cities. It was so beautiful. We were in mountains. So, yes, I like the courts. I liked everything because Switzerland is just a beautiful country. And, of course, because I won the tour tournaments. So, yes. Amir, uh, Matt Futterman from the New York Times. What... What do you take from your experience in Paris that you are using here, especially now that you're in the second week of the tournament? Um, honestly, after Paris, I just uh, had uh, quite a long talk with myself, just uh, me and myself, and that's it. Um, so I talked to myself, I decided some... I just talked, I just, I don't know, just in my head I realized some things, I I took some decisions that I think are now important for me and uh, I think I did a good job and because now everything is working so far and um, yes, I just... I just talked with myself and I decided everything, just what I have to do next and so far it's working. Can I just ask, were those decisions about how you play tennis or how you behave on the court or how you think about tennis? Everything. Everything. The, when is better to take, uh, when is, like, which decision is right decision at the time on the court, uh, what to do if I lose 1-5-40, for example, just to... I don't know, just about everything, and tennis-wise and medal-wise, so, yes. Hi, um, you've talked about keeping your temper on the court. I just wondered, do you have the same sort of tantrums that other 16-year-old teenagers have away from the court? Do you live a, a normal teenage life as well as beating the world's greatest players? And, and sort of what do you do that your friends do that, that sort of reminds you you're a 16-year-old? When, when this, you know, your life seems so much different to most of them? I'm uh, actually, I think, just a normal teenager, like normal girl. And uh, I do, I think, everything that my... Everything that uh, the girls my age do. I love to watch some series. I have to do my school. I have no choice. And uh, I have to suffer for two more years and that's it. Uh, so, yes, when I have free time, uh, I prefer to, sometimes it depends on my mood, but most of the time I prefer to be alone, just with myself. Um, yes, so, but most of the time I watch Netflix. That, that's, I'm honest. 
Yeah, hi. Um, you're the last qualifier in either of the singles draws, which is a great achievement. Until two years ago, someone would have said it's impossible for a qualifier to win a Grand Slam, but we now know it, it isn't impossible because of what happened in New York. So did what happened with Vaticano, does that inspire you to believe that you could repeat her feat? Of course, uh, in 2021, she did an amazing job. Like, everyone was uh, impressed, and I think she was impressed also to pass the qualities and to win the slam at uh, 18. It's it's amazing. Um, but me, I just try to, don't, to not think about it. Just, uh, I think uh, it will disturb me, all these thoughts, and... Uh, I just try to play every match and don't think how far I have gone already or which round I'm playing against who I'm playing. I just try to play every point, doesn't matter against who and uh, doesn't matter which round. I just play my game. I don't change anything, mental-wise, tennis-wise. So, yes, I'm just playing. Can I just ask, um, last year, of course, there were no Russian players <coughs> here reasons out, out with your control. There doesn't seem to be any issue between the fans and the Russian players. Is that a positive, that there's been no recriminations towards Russian players from the supporters here? Well, me, I don't feel anything. And uh, I'm just playing tennis, you know, and, uh, and that's it. I'm just a tennis player, so that's it. Uh, hi, Mira. I wanted to ask you about playing uh, in front of crowds. If, do you find that the main difference between playing the juniors and uh, not one of the differences between playing juniors and the and the pros? And how uh, and how does the crowd influence you? Do you get encouraged? Do you feel more nervous when you hear everybody shouting a name and stuff like that? Uh, I would definitely say that before it might. Uh disturbed me at some moments but now and just uh, honestly today i remember that uh, some parts somebody was screaming my name or somebody was really supporting me but i just tried to use it for myself and uh, um, i just uh, feel the support from from the crowd and when i win the point and i feel that everybody is encouraging for me and everybody is cheering for me and it really helps me a lot so yes i just uh, i'm really happy that the crowd was like not only on my side because like that it wouldn't be unfair and uh, yes but today the crowd was good i i can say that they were supporting both of us so, yes, today I enjoyed the atmosphere. Hi, Mira. Um, congratulations on getting through to the second week. Um, you've done amazingly well. It seems you have most of Wimbledon behind you. Um, I wondered whether you've got any sense of the sort of support you're getting from back home at all. Yes, uh, today especially, today is the birthday of my, gran gr of my grandpa. And so they were watching uh, my match, like 50 people that they invited. So, uh, of course, today I received the much more support, much more kind messages from my family. And uh, yes, I spoke to my grandparents already. I, uh, of course, I said happy birthday. And uh, today, yes, I can say that I received uh, a lot of messages from my family. And what about wider in, in, in the country as a whole? Yes, I also feel the support from uh, Krasnoyarsk. A lot of people are supporting me. They are posting the stories. They are tagging me everywhere. And uh, of course, it's great. I feel uh, I feel super nice because they remember me. So yes, I'm really I'm excited about it that they still cheer for me, even though like I've been there last time in the winter. So. Yes. Hi, hi, Mira. I believe you hadn't played on grass before qualifying, and you've now won six matches in a row. Have you surprised yourself with, with this, or did you feel this was possible? Honestly, as I said, I just didn't think about it. I just uh, 
when I uh, played my first match in Qualis, I just um, I didn't have any expectations because it was my first match on grass. So I just tried to to give it all on the court. And uh, uh, since that first match, I uh, actually found the right rhythm. And uh, now it's working pretty good, I can say. And so, um, honestly, as I said, I didn't have any expectations. I, uh, I just play and uh, I always say that it's a game. So the game will decide who will win the match. Hi, Mu. Congratulations. When I talked to your sister, Erica, she said that she wasn't surprised at the results you've been having this year because she said um, she's noticed a mental change in you, like you're thinking like an adult. Is that something you agree with? And what, how would you describe it in your words? Um, Tennis-wise, I can say that I've changed a lot after also my talk with myself after French Open and just after Australian Open, I, I've i been working on it just to improve it. And um, uh, just to be honest, outside the court, I am, uh, I'm still 16 and uh, sometimes I can, uh, I can be like a kid. I can complain a lot about some stuff. Um, Yes, so on the court, I just try to think only about tennis and about the game, about the next point. But outside the court, um, I'm different. Your style is very distinctive. Is there a famous player you try and model yourself on? Of course I do. I've always uh, admired Federer and he was always my favorite player. Um, but after Nadal, he won uh, French Open in 2022. I just, I was really impressed because after an injury, he came back. He won Australian Open. He won uh, French Open. So after that, I, I can say that uh, now, mental wise, I just uh, try sometimes to copy him. I just try to, to remember. Uh, what what would he do in these moments? What would he do in this on this score? And uh, sometimes, yes, I can say that I I I copy him. So yes. Um, you're practicing in France at the same academy that Daniel Medvedev practiced, or maybe still does. Does that have an influence on you, or what was the reason why you chose that academy? We had two choices, and. Uh, I've played a tournament in Europe and we had two choices uh, either to try the Rafa Nadal Academy or to go to Cannes and so Cannes was closer and we decided to try to go there and uh, I liked it there and so we decided to try and now I can say that uh, we like it the way the process and everything so that's why we're there now. Okay, so we're gonna do wrap up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.